What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to the channel. So, today, right now, it is 9.20 in the morning. It is about 44 degrees outside, pretty chilly. Um, but I am going to be heading to Graffiti Pier to create another graffiti piece. And this piece is a little more complex. Um, it's a little more challenging than all the other pieces that I've been doing. I'm trying to progress with my graffiti, and I think this is definitely going to be um, a piece where I'm going to be making more progress with it. So, right now I'm very into dragons. I'm actually getting a dragon tattoo. I'm getting a sleeve on this arm, which you guys will see once I get the tattoo. I'm getting that um, the 12th of this month. So I'm really obsessed with dragons right now. I actually designed my whole iPhone with this like dragon theme as well so yeah I'm kind of just like obsessed with dragons right now but it's freaking sick like look at this background you can't see it but there's a dragon there's a dragon there but um I'm obsessed with dragons so I'm gonna be doing this dr dragon design um and I just drew this up yesterday and yeah it basically just has this dragon and then there's my name engraved in the design and I actually uh, went to Philly yesterday. I was going to actually paint this at Graffiti Pier yesterday, but I ended up going to this art store in Philly called the Blick Store. And they have so many different kinds of spray paint there and just so many art materials, but I was very interested in the spray paint, obviously, because I'm a graffiti artist. But um, I was looking at all the spray paints, and I actually brought my sketchbook in, and I got all the correct colors that I need for this sketch. So it was very, very useful to go to that store um, and the place just seems dope it's gonna be a place that I go to more often um, and I have this like cool little membership card that they gave me for like deals and stuff so it's gonna be a place where I get most of my spray paint for my um, creations because I can actually be there looking at the paints that I need um, with the sketch and everything so yeah um, this is gonna be a really good video I'm super hyped to create this piece I'm gonna work really hard on it it's gonna be cool so without further ado, let's head up to Graffiti Pier and get started with creating this awesome design. Alright guys, so I made it to the spot that I'm going to be painting at today. And one of my old graffiti pieces is actually here. I created this design after I was finished painting the William piece um, and you know I just had some leftover spray paint so I just decided to do a quick Rinzi piece which was really good to do because it gave me a lot of like practice with my spraying skills and stuff like that so yeah that was pretty cool but the wall that I'm going to be painting on today is this one right here um, with this alien design and it says it says moon, but I'm going to be painting over this design. Um, I decided to use this wall because um, it's vertical and the piece that I created is um, a vertical piece. So I don't want to be using um, a giant wall to create this when it's just a very smaller, it's a small piece compared to, you know, a lettering piece where you have to have a lot of space, a lot of horizontal space. So yeah, this is the wall that I'm choosing to create this design on. Um, I'm going to get started with just creating the basic outline of the design and then we'll see how this piece looks at the end of this video. So let's just get started. <laughs>
All right, guys, so I'm gonna do a quick little update on how the piece is going so far. So I filled in the dragon with this red color, and then I filled in the scales just black. And it's actually really hard to reach this top part up here. So I ended up finding this, I think this is like a firework shooter, but this is what I found to stand on so I can reach the top. It's kind of dangerous because I have to stand on it with one foot, but it's what I got right now. And um, this is giving me the idea that I should probably start bringing a ladder when I am going to be out spray painting because I normally can't reach the top parts of the pieces that I'm creating, so it kind of is a struggle. So the next time I, you know, go out to spray paint, I will be bringing a ladder, but this is working for now. So I'm going to fix up the top part of this piece, and uh, that's a little update for you guys. It looks dope so far. Um, and I have high hopes that this piece will look cool. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust. Oh, here we go, 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 let us heal and grow. You won't be alone, we're unstoppable. Don't be afraid to show what we're going for. Alright guys, so another quick update on the piece so far. So I basically have everything filled in right now. And I just have to go in with the black lines to pull everything together and then, you know, do some white highlights and everything. But um, I'm realizing um, as I'm using the Montana spray paint, I have the Montana black edition and the gold edition. Um, I'm realizing that the black edition, the paint tends to spray like at a higher pressure. And then the gold paint um, sprays at a lower pressure, which allows the paint not to drip as much, I guess. I mean, this paint still drips, but not as much as the black edition paint does. If you're like gonna be like up close spraying and stuff. Um, so I need to figure out what cap to use when I'm gonna be using the black spray paint so that when I'm doing the outlines and everything, um, it doesn't drip all over because that's not really how I want the piece to look with the, the black outline and everything, so I gotta figure that out. But it's looking pretty good so far. And yeah, the, the color choice is great. Um, it was nice that I actually went to the Blick store because I, again, was able to get all the correct colors that I need for the piece and everything. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna keep on working with this piece and Let's hope it looks dope in the end. Yes. 
Alright, so another quick update. I found a cap that works pretty well. Look at those black lines, they look great. So I found a cap that um, is going to work with making the lines not drip as much and, you know, a good cap for creating black lines for this piece. I found that cap and then the cap stopped working for some reason. So I just walked around this area because I knew everyone just leaves their caps here after they're done spray painting. So I found the same cap that I found, well the cap that I had used from my like caps that I have. And then I walked around and I found a cap that was like the same one. And it works, so yeah. Um, the piece is going great so far, it looks really cool. It looks super cool. Um, and I think it's gonna look dope. I have high hopes, I have high hopes. So let's just get back with painting.
All right, guys, so I just finished up with this graffiti piece, and I really think that this one shows improvement within my work, and I'm really hyped to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm gonna get some cinematic shots so you guys can see the fully finished product. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more content. Also, follow me on my Instagram, at rinzy.10. Um, if you follow me on there, you will be able to click the link in my bio that will lead you to my website, my TikTok, my Facebook, and all those other accounts that I have. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more awesome content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Here is the finished results of this graffiti piece. Peace out.